Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for September 13th, 2012. It is Thursday, it's 7.44 a.m. and temperatures once again are relatively comfortable with the dew points in the upper 40s to lower 50s and our low temperatures basically ranging from the mid to upper 40s over the interior, like around Messina, to the lower to mid 50s along the coast, even a few upper 50s over Long Island and in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. For the most part, what you saw yesterday, you can expect for today. Temperatures rising into the mid to upper 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s everywhere else, perhaps a few mid 70s right along the coast. Overall, we're dealing with very pleasant weather conditions with light and variable uh, winds, uh, dew points remaining low, clear skies, not much really going on. Why is that the case? Well, we have high pressure pretty much dominating the entire northeast coast with clear skies and tranquil weather conditions. A high pressure system of around 1,030 millibars will certainly produce very pleasant weather conditions and that's exactly what we see in place over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area today. This high pressure system will remain in control through at least Saturday and then this cold front will move through Saturday night into Sunday with a little bit of an increase in clouds and perhaps an isolated shower, but really I think most locations will remain dry with this cold front. Taking a look at the water vapor satellite picture, you can see there's an awful lot of dry air dominating much of the east coast. Now there is this mid-level disturbance that is lifting to the northeast. This disturbance is going to have to be watched to see whether it pulls up a little bit of moisture ahead of this cold front to produce an isolated shower late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Again, I think that most locations will remain dry. Majority of this moisture is associated with the cold front and an upper level trough approaching from the east. But a lot of this rainfall isn't even reaching the ground and quite frankly isn't even that heavy. So this cold front is going to move through Saturday night into Sunday. A little bit of increase in cloud cover, perhaps an isolated shower, but I doubt it. And the big news is that winds are going to shift from the southwest to the northwest and that is going to bring in some very cool temperatures. We're talking about highs in the lower to mid 70s for most locations by Sunday. Let's take a look at the latest model guidance using the European model guidance from the Penn State eWall website. Again, for this evening, high pressure is in control, not much really going on. That's going to continue into tomorrow evening, Friday evening. We have high pressure in control. Now we have an upper level trough approaching from the east. Our cold front is going to move through Saturday into Sunday. That cold front again could produce an isolated shower, but I think most locations will remain dry. Now once that cold front moves through, then we start to import a much cooler air mass. So by Sunday, you can see winds are coming more from the west and the northwest. And our temperatures are going to be a bit cooler, falling into the mid to upper 40s for lows over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast and temperatures rising into the lower to mid 70s for most locations on Sunday. So if you have any plans to go out to a football game or anything of that nature, well, you're going to have some very comfortable weather conditions. Again, most locations will remain dry with this frontal passage. And the biggest news is going to be that winds are going to shift to the northwest. So what else is going on with this weather pattern? Well, unfortunately, a little bit more interesting weather will start to evolve by Tuesday with a upper level low starting to develop over the Great Lakes. That's going to pull a cold front through the region and an area of low pressure is going to start to develop. And that area of low pressure by Tuesday into Wednesday is going to lift to the northeast and produce some scattered showers and possibly a little bit of heavy rainfall. By Tuesday night into Wednesday, we start to see clearing skies and by Wednesday, we see this deep trough developing over the eastern United States. By Wednesday afternoon, with clear skies in place, we could expect highs in the upper 60s to mid 70s. We are certainly seeing a much cooler regime starting to take hold over the eastern United States. Looking at the long range pattern very quickly, you can see our pattern is starting to lock into place with a strong upper level low situating around the Aleutian Islands that leads to a large ridge over Western Canada and the Western United States. We start to see a deep trough start to develop and intensify over the Eastern United States. And notice we're starting to see ridging building up through Greenland and Northeastern Canada. 
And as we start to see what's left of Tropical Storm Nadine lift up into the northern Atlantic, well, look what, how the pattern interacts with that tropical storm, possibly a hurricane. By the end of the forecast period, the, that hurricane starts to interact with this trough, and we start to see more heat and more warm air being driven into the northern latitudes, as you can see with the winds here at the mid-levels. And when you start seeing warm air building up in Greenland and northeastern Canada, that leads to what's called a negative NAO pattern. And that typically means that our polar vortex, which currently is all the way up here in northern Canada, starts to redevelop and situate itself over southeastern Canada. And that could lead to some interesting weather patterns for later on in the year. We'll get to that more later as we move on through the next couple of weeks. But certainly this weather pattern is definitely a cool one with much cooler temperatures on the way and also a little bit stormier too. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. You can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and of course at nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, if you're looking for the latest weather analysis on long-range weather patterns and look for severe weather, you could also become a premium member at nynjpaweather.com for only $10 a month. Have an excellent day. Stay safe out there.